our peach flavored bait has performed the best. We've got that beautiful red Katakwa moth and we've got two pearly eyes in here. So um, I'm super happy about that. I'm shopping for butterfly bait. Yes, that's right. Lorenzo and I are shopping for butterfly bait. We got what we need for our apples. We are going to try something a little different. I heard some of the uh, Georgia, North Carolina butterfly moths really like some peaches and watermelon Ooh. in the bait. So we're gonna try two traps with just apples and bananas. And another trap, or no, the other two traps, we're gonna put one with peaches and one with watermelon. So, Ooh, all right, here we go. Are these peaches or nectarines? These are nectarines. Oh, there's peaches? Oh. Apricots. Well, wait, 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 wait. Uh-oh, I think that's the bag right there. We got peaches. Wait, how many peaches? Sweet Georgia peaches. Yeah, all right, we'll, we'll go ahead and eat some of those too, so. Beautiful. We're gonna get some peaches. And the last. All right, so with this one, guys, we're going to chop up two apples. Oh, that one's already going a little bad, that's okay. We're gonna chop two apples, but we are going to add, because our, our normal mixture is five apples, two bananas, sugar, and water. In this one, we are gonna chop two apples, and a mystery ingredient. In fact, we're gonna do two mystery ingredients and we're gonna actually compare them to how they do against just a classical apple mixture. We'll see how it goes. Uh, here's our two apples. Just big chunks, nothing too small, nothing too crazy. It's uh, it's pretty simple, guys. It's just rotting fruit. That it makes an alcohol mixture of its own. We don't add alcohol to our bait because I think the better alcohol to use is the one that makes is made naturally by the fermenting fruit. Now, peaches. We're gonna try some peaches. We're not gonna put a whole lot of them in because what I've found is peaches tend to make your, your bait a lot, like really soupy. And uh, I don't like that. So what we're gonna do is, I'm probably gonna add, these are kind of tiny. I might add four peaches to this bait, um, minus the pit, obviously. And what you wanna do is you wanna put them in before they get too ripe. Because if they're too ripe, then it's it's already soupy and you haven't we haven't even fermented it yet. So we want the peaches to be nice and you know actually we're able to have chunks of them without it being like smushy and soupy so that's what we're gonna that's what we're going for here guys we're going for peaches that are like that in fact i'll just put the pit in why not um some chunks of peaches it's not mushy it's nice and hard still it's not perfectly ripe yet it's not overripe and we're gonna put four peaches like this in our bait trap in our bait mixture and we are gonna see how that does in comparison to our, our, uh, our general apple mixture. We'll see how it goes, guys. We'll definitely do a side-by-side -side comparison and see how it goes. I'm excited about this because, you know, down here in Florida, we have a lot of cool things. <clears throat> But bait trapping is not that hot down here. I mean, we, you know, we can get question marks every now and then, red admirals, some viceroys, and we get black witch moths, which is really cool. But up in the northern parts of the country, we get all these incredible underwing moths, which is so cool. You never know what you're gonna get. And I'm super excited to, um, to really give this a stab and see if we can 
catch some cool bugs that are different from what we normally see down here in South Florida. Okay, next step, definitely need some sugar, guys. We're gonna go at least a half a cup of sugar. Because the sugar is what gets the stuff fermenting. The sugar and water mixed with the heat get the stuff fermenting. And you don't need a whole lot of water probably less than a half a cup. You just need just enough water to dissolve the sugar in your bag. Um, you don't want it to be too wet. It's just a little bit of water on the very bottom. And then what we'll do is we'll zip our bag up. And we'll slosh this around. Get all the sugar dissolved. Okay, now, next step, squeeze the air out of the bag, zip it back up, and then we put it out in a bucket with a lid so raccoons and stuff don't get to it, but we're going to put it out in the sun, and you, you see how the, the fluid down here, it, it's... It's not really dissolved. I'm sorry, it is. See the fluid down here in the bottom of the bag? It's dissolved, it's got like the sugar, there's no standing sugar crystals. It's all dissolved in the water. But it's not like full of water. You, just, you want it to be moist, damp, lots of sugar. This is gonna be a very sweet, sweet mixture. Uh, but you want to have that sugar so that it starts fermenting. So this bag, when it blows up with gas, we know it's ready to put in a bait trap. This would probably... All right, it's time to check out our peach fruit mixture. These are the peaches. Uh, it appears that our peach mixture hasn't really thrown a lot of gas. I mean, there's some, there's some gas in this bag. A little bit but we don't have the big full ziploc bag full of gas that we had with the apple bags we have a watermelon here and that one's just juicy so not sure how that's working but um it's been sitting out for about two and a half three days hot florida sun it's like 92 degrees out right now uh we're going to cut up a few apples and put them in here as well uh, to make sure that we have some good fruit bait going for our traps uh, we're going to be putting them out tomorrow afternoon and we're going to let you know how they do guys this is the peach bag it's lovely i mean i'm just going to smell it real quick oh yeah it smells like alcohol guys peach and banana alcohol right here this would probably be the perfect amount of bait to fit in one of these pie tins We'll just load it up just like that. Well, one put it together the bag. We'll load it up like that, put it in our bait trap. Our bait traps were designed around this particular pie tin. Um, so that's why we use the amount of bait to fill this particular pie tin, which is the proper amount of bait for our uh, bait trap. So guys, that's about it for the peaches. Um, let's see how they do in subsequent videos. Give us a like if you have a, a bait that you prefer, let us know. Um, we're gonna have a good time up in North Carolina uh, in, here in another couple of weeks. So uh, guys, take care, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get out there and find some cool bugs. Take care.